I am riding on a bus. Uh, we're on our way to Cologne right now. There's a pretty good chance we're gonna miss the train. I knew it was gonna happen because we are late for everything. Not even joking, I'm not exaggerating. We are quite genuinely, literally, late for everything we go to. Hopefully, by some miracle, the train is delayed and we can get to Cologne to go see Sisters of Mercy. Well, we made it to the train station, but to the surprise of absolutely no one, we missed the train, so now we have to wait here for an hour. Now we have to wait, uh, surrounded by all these, hey. how do you like to call it, mantas? And we're finally on the train, an hour later. How do we say, how do we say Cologne again? Köln. 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 Ja. Köln. Das ist okay, good. Oh, I almost said it right this time. Let's go Köln. Right, so, we literally just got off the fucking train. Sorry, I'm swearing because I'm unbelievably angry and devastated after all that long trip. Which was actually, it was a pretty fucking expensive trip too, but we figured it would be worth it. Literally walked out of the train station and Matthias got a phone call saying that the show has been cancelled because Andrew Eldritch has a sore throat or something. So tonight's show here in Cologne and the show tomorrow in Berlin are cancelled hours beforehand. I really like it how they did it just fucking hours beforehand and there are people who have traveled, we were just looking on the Facebook page, from other countries just to be here. Like people, some, someone came from Japan for this. <laughs> people have traveled from Switzerland or Sweden, like come quite a long way. People have driven a long fucking distance and paid a lot of money to be here to be told it's cancelled. It's cancelled. I can't fucking believe it. I'm so upset. That's not extremely obvious. I arrived at the hostel that we were staying at. It's like, do we even bother checking in and like paying to spend the night here? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is going to ruin me ever listening to Sisters of Mercy again, which is a shame because it's one of my favorite bands. And I don't know, I think I'm gonna feel a little bit fucking bitter every time I hear it from now on. I knew Andrew Eldritch was an asshole. We all knew he was a prick with a shit personality. What time is it now? Five in the afternoon. It's five in the afternoon. So we got four hours warning. Four hours, before, no, sorry, not even that. We're supposed to start at eight. So we got three hours warning. Three hours warning. I can't. Morgen. Now is not the time. <laughs> fuck off. But fuck you, Andrew Eldritz, and your sore fucking throat. What a baby. What a baby. Whatever. I watched some guy on TV do like a skateboarding contest with a broken ankle. <laughs> I'm in a bad mood and, you know, Sisters of Mercy has been one of my favourite bands for years and years. Finally got the chance to see them, or so I thought. Been looking forward to it for ages. You saw my, like, super fucking derp face picture that I put up on Instagram. I just don't know what to do now. Oh, let's visit the cemetery. Again. Again. There are probably lots of people who've had to take time off work or, you know, they've probably saved up for this trip and stuff. This sucks. This is the second time I was supposed to make a really great fun blog and it's turned out to be an angry rant. First time was in the, the Bone Church. We're in McDonald's, surrounded by children making noise. I'm about to actually put this in my body. Those things where every, every like, little thing that goes wrong after one big thing goes wrong, it just, it feels so much more shit. I ordered a shake and they didn't have any. They're like, oh no, it's broken. It's like, why does that always fucking happen? It's like, why is the shake machine always broken? Excuse me while I eat my disgusting food burger. Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm in a shared dorm room. It turned out that my card had already been charged for one night's accommodation, so like, we'd already paid for the hostel for a night. Well, we may as well stay here and we were so disappointed. We were so dis we were so obviously disappointed and upset that the reception lady gave us a free breakfast each for tomorrow, which was really really sweet. And uh, this is my very exciting dorm room. Yeah. So I guess the plan at the stage is fix ourselves up and try and find something fun to do. So yeah, my makeup looks even worse now than it did before because I cried and now it looks like shit. So I'm gonna wipe it off and start again. Okay, I have a face now. When I was reading the reviews of this hostel, someone said that the hallways were creepy. They're right. They are. They are kind of creepy. That's okay. I'm in an abandoned hospital. So, I've calmed down now. And the extreme anger that I had before has been replaced with just massive disappointment and trying to think of all the reasons why I don't like Andrew Eldritch anymore all of a sudden. There's a party, apparently. There was meant to be an after party, so they've just decided to have that earlier. We're gonna try and figure out where that is and go to that. Which, we're looking for this thing that was supposed to be an after party, but is now, like, the only thing that there is to do. 
I really don't know where it is because my Google Maps was like, I cannot give you information at this time. I'm going to be a useless piece of shit and I cannot give you directions. We so, will figure it out, don't worry. Oh, I don't know. Postponed this concert until December. I don't think I want to go. The thing about it, it's like, fine, shit happens. But the fact that they cancelled it four hours before it started, without it, well, they didn't even say sorry. It's kind of the, part of the, it was just the way that it was delivered. They're just like, oh, the show has been cancelled. It has a new date now because the singer is ill. Where's the sorry? Like, there was no, like, I'm so sorry. So we've been playing music while we were getting ready and thinking, gosh, wow. There are like so many bands that are actually like much better than Sisters of Mercy, I've just suddenly realised. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there right now and say the band Merciful Nuns is one of my favourites. When I first heard of them, I was like, wow, that's that is a massive obvious Sisters ripoff, right? Obviously, because you know the Sisters of Mercy is an order of nuns, and when I saw Merciful Nuns, I was like, really? Really? And then I listened to them and I thought, yeah, they're actually very good. You know, they're actually very good. And then I saw them live at Maraluna this year and they were fucking amazing. They were really good. I like to say never mind, but you can probably tell I'm pretty pissed off. A few people have said to me that they, you know, they went to see them in London recently, like in the last few days, and that their heart just wasn't in it. And even when they came to New Zealand a few years ago, which I, I wasn't able to go, they said that it was just kind of like, he didn't really, like Andrew Eldridge, he didn't really care. So like I wanted to, Oh, yeah, go away. Sorry. Yeah, it's not like I wanted to see one of my favourite bands live or anything. No, fuck. Why would I want that? So now we're in a supermarket that is unbelievably still open at this time, and I'm buying some crisps and we're getting a giant box of toffee feed. I know we don't actually need anything, but what do we need for our mental um, health while meat. we're here? Meat. Yeah. <laughs> we need meat for our mental health. I've turned off my brain a few hours ago and decided that I was just uh, gonna dedicate all my time to being pissed off. No better way to drown your sorrow than with chips, candy and vodka. I'm really getting the vibe here of everyone being really bummed out. This is sounding so ironic at the moment. Dog. I like the dog. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> hey, okay. All right. the beer is not for you, huh? Great I like that dog, dog, but he's a bit... <laughs> he's oh, quite... He, he likes... He wants he likes to play, so and he likes, he likes to play with his teeth. Yeah. He's bitten me like fucking eight times or something. It's... <laughs> okay, you've made my day all good again. Good morning, or should I say afternoon? because it's 2 p.m. but it feels like morning because I'm so fucking tired. Sorry this hasn't been a very happy vlog. I feel like no sleep at all. It was just like super tired, no sleep. Just about had a friggin' panic attack in the middle of the night for no reason. Just going to go store our bags for a few hours and we're going to go visit the Art of Dark shop in Cologne, which is, uh, I haven't been there yet. It's an alternative clothing and stuff store here in Cologne. So let's go do that, I guess. This is how to buy tickets in style. <laughs> do you want to ask yeah, for directions? Yeah, we should ask for the... Uh, for okay, the well, if you do that, uh, I'll go on to Douglas, because I can't be fucked waiting in line, and I want to go see if they sell next. Something really, really nice just happened. I think today's already better. We're at, we're at KFC, as you do. <laughs> and uh, this, this gentleman just came up to us and um, said, like, Oh, I'll, I'll pay for your meals if I can take some photos with you. <laughs> so he did. And he tipped the, the cashier as well, which was so sweet. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. That was so nice. I guess he must really like the silly hairdos. Cool, You too, cheers. Uh, should we grab a stroll? Where would you like to sit? Over oh, here? Just so here? Some yummy chicken and a burger and... Well, they call them pommes here. I've had to get out of the habit of calling them fries or chips. I can't believe it. They still have the moist towelettes here. They got rid of these in New Zealand like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago? Like, oh, we found it. Okay, let's go over there. Wouldn't it suck if it were closed after all this, like, distance we came to find this shop? Yeah, oh, cool. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, exciting. I thought it would be a bit impolite to film inside the stores, so I didn't take my word for it. Well, I say stores, there was actually the Out of Dark store and then there was another alternative store like right beside it and they were both awesome and it was a really really lovely um, black velvet skirt which I guess I'll show you at some point. Really nice from Intermodern. And I also just got a pair of fingerless gloves because it's cold and Messias got this huge friggin silver bat from alchemy oh it's not that expensive i just took my contacts out as you can see i'm missing a piece of makeup i had an eye infection like a week or so ago i guess it was just today i'm like god my eyeball hurts so i took my contacts out when i noticed that the eye infection seems to be back yay i'm just kind of glad that we're going back soon we're on our way back to the main train station <laughs> it's ending up with both of us being like super fucking tired and hung over and i feel like shit i've got a sore throat now I've got Andrew Eldritch disease. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. He spelled a voodoo spell to you. Yeah, he must have like seen my nasty post on the Facebook page. It's not really in my nature to post nasty things on the internet. I was extremely disappointed and quite worked up, so I was like, no, fuck this, fuck that, fuck you. You know how I was earlier on in this video? <laughs> That's the mood I was in when I wrote on the Sisters of Mercy Facebook page. We are enjoying life in full trains. Das Leben in vollen Zügen genießen, ne? God, Frappuccino. If you look behind me, you'll see the uh, Cologne Cathedral, which is uh, really fucking big and impressive. And last time, we were here, when we were here for the Amphi Festival, we climbed all the way up to the top because we're clearly mental. I cannot believe we walked all the way to the top. Oh my god, like I was so dizzy from going up the spiral staircase. Oh, I, uh, I enjoyed it. It's very beautiful it's nice. on the inside. This is where they used to have like the Gothic Treffens in the 80s or 90s or something. This waren die Schwarzbund Treffen. Hmm? Schwarzbund Treffen. Oh, okay. People who couldn't afford the VGT uh, drove Kölner Domplatte. It was just a meeting. It was nothing, only uh, punks and waivers. But yeah. like, you see a lot of pictures and stuff of, you know, groups of goth acts in the 8th. Uh, yeah, they, they were ago. just sitting, uh, talking yeah, and drinking. Here. Those, that was here, yeah. Those photos are from here. Do you know what the sense of the Gothic architecture is? What? That's supposed to be hideous, right? Hideous and upside down and that the windows can let the light, can let the sunlight in. So at daylight, if the sun shines into the building, everything is very bright and shining. So God is into this building that was a sense of the Gothic architecture. And they uh, <laughs> needed uh, more than 600 years yeah, 600 to years to build, this, to build this. I really wish I could share the smell in here. It smells so nice. It's that kind of incense that they use in cathedrals, you know. Uh, yeah, it's a special kind of incense. Like, Weihrauch. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know the juice of the trees? Sap, maybe? Uh, the the oh, dried like and amber? then you... Oh, amber incense, maybe? Do we touch the holy water? What do you think will burst into flames? In the last like 12 hours or something since we woke up, I've managed to like get really ill and I feel absolutely shocking. So I got some chicken soup from a vending machine for 50 cents and it's like sent from heaven. I'm not going to film myself just this Filming very exciting just everything you, you eat. I mean that's not what the internet's for. Keeping a log of the things you eat every day and making sure your friends all know. A cup of vending machine soup because I look like shit. I think I look right now as awesome as I feel. So.